Hello everybody, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name's Danielle. Subscribe down below. Today, I'm going to be talking about my favorite products of 2018. This is kind of epic, honestly. Also, can we just talk about how cozy of a vibe this is right now? Like, I'm at my dad's house and I just need to film here more. My room at my mom's house is just constantly a mess because it's so small and I just throw everything everywhere. But then my room at my dad's house is just so clean all the time and cozy and I just... So yeah, I'm gonna start filming here more. Well, when I'm home and then I go back to school in like a week, but you know, you get it. Anyways, I'm in a lovely mood right now. I went to work out this morning, so that always gets the endorphins flowing, you feel good. And I was reflecting on 2018, cause I'm also doing a video about like, kind of a reflection and you know, my goals for next year. And I was also thinking about my favorite things I've used this year and um, yeah. So I wanted to make sure this video wasn't all over the place because for a normal favorites video, I literally just have random things that I thought of that I've been using in the last month. But this I kind of wanted to make sure I really hit all the categories. So I made a list and it's basically by category. So like my favorite shoes, I have self care, I have tech, I have my favorite color of the year. I have like a ton of different categories. So I'm gonna have everything I talk about linked down below. I am so excited. These are my holy grail items that I discovered or I used a ton this year. I tried to make it so it's nothing too recent. I tried to make it things that I really have been using all year because otherwise it's like, that's just a favorites video. So I'm excited without further ado, let's get started with my 2018 favorites. All right, so the first category I wanna to touch on are clothes. And clothes is such a hard thing to like have a favorite of because I really like to mix and match my style. I like to, you know, discover new trends and like obviously there's different seasons throughout the year. But two things that I really wore a lot this year, something that I, I don't know, two essentials in my wardrobe this year were these pants that I'm literally wearing right now. Um, there are these black flowy, accordion pants, I don't really know how to describe them, from Princess Polly. I don't believe they have them on the website anymore, but I think I found some on like ASOS or something, so I'll have them linked down below. I have to stop saying that because obviously everything's linked down below, habit. But they are so comfortable and they're high-waisted and they are just so flattering if you wear a crop top with just some cool sneakers. Like I seriously wore these with like everything. I wore them with like chunky white sneakers and a crop top or I'd wear them with like booties and like a blouse like seriously these are awesome and you can travel in them while they're super comfortable they feel like pajamas and if you guys follow me on instagram you definitely saw these pants a lot so you know it was a 2018 favorite my second and only other clothing item i wanted to talk about that i really feel like i took a loving to this year were body suits um i have a few from princess polly that i really like and i wore a lot they were just like the standard black ones with like the strap um, and some other colors and I had a white I have a white one too that I really love I don't know what it is But bodysuits are so easy to dress up or dress down and wear a ton of ways like this black one I got from princess Polly a while ago I wear with these pants all the time or just jeans and a belt and you just pop over a jacket like Seriously was such a good look and they make you look really fit and toned so Love bodysuits. As for shoes, you guys guessed it. Someone commented on my last video saying, I bet her Vince slip-ons will be in her 2018 favorites video. You were right. My shoes of the year were 100% my white Warren Vince slip-ons. Not to be confused with Vans. These are Vince. Unfortunately, they're about $200 but I literally wear them every day. I wore them today. They're here right next to me. Like I just can't stop wearing them. I'll be like, no, I'm gonna try something else. But I just, they're so comfortable. They're platform sneakers. So they're absolutely amazing. They, I'm 5'3", so I like to have a little bit more of a height. They're amazing. I also have them in black and another color perhaps. I used to have them in gray, but now I don't. But yeah, these are awesome because they're like this like leather material. So if they get dirty, you can just take a wipe and wipe them for the most part, which is awesome. So yeah, they're a little bit expensive, but I haven't been able to find a good dupe of these sneakers. If you guys do, let me know down below so I can share it with you guys. Like I wish there was a cheaper pair or so, but they are really comfortable. They're really comfortable. And on the other side of the spectrum, I wanted to talk about my favorite booties of the year. They are these black platform booties from Bershka. I will try to find them online. If not, there's a lot of similar ones like it on like Nasty Gal and stuff, but they were seriously so perfect. Like I'm all about comfortable shoes that give a little height. So these booties, I could literally wear all night. I don't have to take them off. They look so good with jeans and like a bodysuit. Once again, I wore these booties all here. Seriously, 
Love them. I'm more of a booties girl. I don't really like heels as much unless they're like platform wedges or something. As for workout wear, my favorite leggings are the Lululemon Wonder Under Lux Stream leggings. I wore them all this year. They're beyond flattering. I get the high-waisted ones because suck that tummy in, baby. They have longer ones and then they have like more cropped ones. And the Lux Stream is nice because the material doesn't like pill. So it's like, I don't know, you can wash it a lot, you can wear them a lot and they don't get ruined. Um, so I really, really have been liking those. I know I'm gonna wear them all of 2019 too. I have been really liking Outdoor Voices workout wear though, I have to say. They might be my 2019 workout attire, but 2018, it was Lululemon Wonder Unders. As for workout tops, my favorite workout tops have been these like longer sports bra crop tops from Lululemon. I, I forget the exact name, but again, I'll have them down below. Danielle, don't say that. I like it because it's like a crop tank top sports bra. So if I go to spin, like I don't have to wear a sports bra and then a tank top, it's just like a one and done situation, which I really, really like. So I have one in purple, green, black, blue. I think that's it. But yeah, they're amazing and they look really good with the leggings and it's just like a great workout outfit. As for purses, um, I definitely like to spend money on bags. We all know this. I don't like to spend as much money on clothes, but then I like to dress it up with like nicer bags. I don't know why I have a thing for designer bags. So I was kind of reflecting. I was looking at my Instagram, looking at my most worn bags. I was trying to tell which ones I feel like I use the most, or at least were on my Instagram the most. And my two like go-to bags this year, they're always black bags. Like I love a good black crossbody. I really only wear crossbodies to be honest. Like I just love crossbody bags. So the two that I used the most this year, one was my Gucci Soho Disco bag. I think that's Disco Soho bag, something like that. And it's just black and it has a zipper and it has like a little fringe on the end. It is absolutely amazing and it fits so much. And it's just good because it's more like low key designer if that makes sense. Like yes, it has a big Gucci thing on the front but it's like also in black. So it's more low key and like, I don't, I don't know how to explain it. Like I just like it and it's really practical and like you can kind of throw it around and you don't like, oh my God, like it's gonna get ruined. My other bag I got halfway through this year was actually I bought it for myself on my eight year YouTube anniversary, I think it was. And yeah, so it was really exciting. I was in Toronto. No, I've never been in Toronto. I always tell this story and I say it was in Toronto. It was in Vancouver, never been to Toronto. I was in Vancouver and the exchange rate for us is different there. So like it was a little bit less expensive if I bought this bag in Vancouver. And I got the YSL, I don't know what it's called, but it's like the envelope crossbody. You guys know all about it. It's always on my Instagram because it's like the bag I've really been using lately. It is so cute. It's the perfect size. It opens up and it has two compartments and there's a zipper in the middle. And I love black and gold. I just love that look. And it has like a top handle. So I just love to hold it like that or wear it as a crossbody. It's just so dang cute. And it like really like adds to an outfit. If I just wear like a bodysuit and jeans, you just pop that bag over and it's like, ooh. As for makeup, um, I'm always switching around like different makeup items, but the one thing I didn't really switch around a lot this year was the face makeup I was using. The first one is the It Cosmetic CC Cream. I'm wearing it right now. Seriously, love it. I try to try other things and I just really love the It Cosmetic CC Cream. I get it in two different shades, so like if I'm tanner, I use medium, and then, or no, if I'm tanner, I use light. No. I don't know, I have two different shades. I actually just came out with a new shade that's like fair to light, which I think I'm gonna need to get because I'm not very tan right now at all. But I think I'm gonna get a spray tan for New Year's Eve because, because. But yeah, I really love it, Cosmetic CC Cream, just because it makes you look so glowy and just, ooh. And then for foundation, I feel like these, both of these items are like definitely everyone's favorites of the year, but the Fenty Beauty Foundation, you can't go wrong. It's so nice for nighttime. It's matte, it stays on the skin, but it also makes your skin look glowy. I don't know how to explain it. Like I know it's matte, but like it does something. So love it. As for like a self-care skincare item, I was gonna talk about skincare, but honestly, I switched out my skincare so much this year that I couldn't tell you like, my number one skincare product. I really just have been loving trying out serums. I guess I really have been liking Drunk Elephant and some other things, but there's just nothing that like, I'm like, yes, I love it. But I have been loving my Jade Roller. It's really, really fun to use. Um, like I have actually noticed a difference. Like this morning I woke up, my face was super puffy. So I put on a little um, serum and then I just Jade Rolled in an upwards, not like this, in an upwards motion. And it really did deep bloat my face and kind of help with the circulation. You can get it on Amazon for literally $12. And it's just, it's a form of self care. Feels good at night when I'm like watching TV and I'm like, yes, I'm helping my face. <laughs> As for jewelry, the one thing that I've gotten so many questions on and it truly was one of my 
favorite items of 2018, even though ah, I got this in August, were these gold mini star hoop earrings. And they're absolutely amazing. I got them, shout out to Callie, my assistant. She literally was the one, the first day I met her, I was like, where'd you get those earrings? And she got hers, like, I don't even know, like, I don't even know, but I found them on Etsy. They're just so cute. There's like these little gold hoops with like gold stars on the bottom and you guys always ask about them and they're amazing. I got them on Etsy, but I've heard you can get them on like Princess Polly or Brandy Melville, I think. I'll like find wherever you can get them. And I really wanna get my second piercing while I'm home. I still haven't done it, I'm so scared. But I just think it would be so cute to have like two hoops, I don't know. As for my tech favorites, I have three. Two are apps and one is, well, the first one are my AirPods. I don't know what has happened lately, but on Twitter, everyone is just making fun of AirPod users, not making fun, but everyone's like, yeah, if you're an AirPod user, like you think you're all that, and like, I don't know, I guess the AirPods really have changed the game, and everyone got AirPods for Christmas, I feel. I have been using AirPods since probably, oh, since last year, I think last fall I got AirPods, so truly has been a 2018 favorite. They're amazing, I love them. If you haven't gotten them, just get them. They don't ever really fall out of your ears. And if they do, the music stops so you know you have to like stop and look right away. I listen to my music, I listen to podcasts while I'm cleaning. If I'm walking to class, I can listen to music. I can talk on the phone hands-free. They're amazing, they're little, oh, I, I can't get enough of And then them. two apps I wanna talk about because you guys have been asking me questions like crazy about this. So Instagram, we love it. Instagram stories I'm into. Posting on Instagram, obviously I'm into that feed. So I've made multiple videos in my life about how I edit my Instagram photos, but lately I have moved away from Lightroom for a little bit. I just got sick of how orange my skin was looking in my photos. I still love presets, but they were just getting a lot. So I got the Tezza app on um, the apps, Apple Store, App Store, yeah. It's T-E-Z-Z-A, she's a blogger. A blogger whose presets I used to use, and then she came out with an app with some um, filters that I really, really liked, and it was just so much easier. You just pop on the filter, boom, done. And also on the app, you can like edit lighting and contrast and stuff, and I use the filter Toasty. So, everyone's been asking. Here you go! And then the other app I wanted to talk about is the app Unfold. You guys always ask me about my Instagram stories and how I make them all cool and like put frames and do Polaroids and stuff like that. It is the app Unfold. I believe it's free, but then you have to buy like different packs to like do different things. Like there's a film pack, there's like a red pack, there's different ones. Um, so yeah, they're, it's really awesome and it, it really elevates your Instagram stories. As for music, I was trying to figure out like my favorite song of 2018 and that I really can't. I think, well, my number one song that I listened to according to Spotify this year was Better Now by Post Malone. But like, I haven't listened to that in like two months just because I listened to it too much. So I decided to kind of just talk about my three favorite artists of 2018. And these were also the three top artists on my Spotify. So it just makes sense. Post Malone, Drake, and Khalid. Not in that order. If I were to do it in order, it'd be Drake, Post Malone, Khalid. My three favorite artists of 2018. I got to see them, I actually got to see them all live this year, which is really awesome. I really like rap, R&B, hip hop, that's just my vibe. My favorite color of 2018, can you guess? Yellow! Yellow was just such a color for me in 2018 and honestly, last year, 2017. Um, I really just love the color yellow. I'm, it's just really happy and every time I wore it, it made me happy and it made me look tanner, so we love that. I also have to say, red was a really close contender. I think red's becoming my favorite color. It's about to surpass yellow in 2019, so I'll be interested to see. I hope I remember to do my favorite color of 2019 next year when I do this video. That is everything I wanted to talk to you guys about, but if you want to even hear about more products that I just love, um, on our podcast, Brooke and I's podcast, Gals on the Go, a couple episodes ago, we did the master list which we talk about each of us we talk about our top 20 favorite products yeah so there's 40 amazing items on that podcast that we link in the description so I always have my podcast linked down below but it's just gals on the go on Apple and Spotify and we put all the links to everything we talked about there so there's probably even more products on that we talked about we did beauty fashion lifestyle so many different things so that's also there there'll be some overlap but just if you want more I don't know, if you're just in the mood. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know it was kind of long, but you know, 2018 is a year, it's 12 months, there's lots to talk about. So I love you guys so much. Thanks so much for sticking around. And if you just joined, subscribe down below. And I will see you guys very soon for our next video. Bye-bye.